Hello, I'm Mark Cuevas and welcome to New Media Weekly. This week I have the honor of speaking with Rebecca Landau, the creator of Working Class Foodies. You and I first met uh, at an event in which the second version of the producer's playbook mm -hmm. for YouTube was being discussed. Yes. Um, tell me what your part in the development of the second version of the producer's <laughs> playbook was. I don't know if I necessarily have a part in the development for it. I know that um, the people here who wrote the playbook, uh, at least when they were doing the first version, because it was written by the people who used to be Next New Networks, um, my channel was kind of one of their case studies right. for it in a lot of respects, like one of many case studies. So, you know, and all of like using YouTube analytics, how to bring an audience in, how to keep their interest, um, how to get subscribers, how to basically take your video after it's been created and make it a success. Right. Um, those steps were something that I kind of watched the team here sort of develop along the way and been able to use in my videos. Um, so you, well, I mean, if you're a t test study, obviously, that is a <laughs> that is a good part of it being developed. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean they would try stuff out, you know, like try this on your channel, see if this works, and we were always game to try stuff out for them. What was the most important thing, the the clearest thing that you learned from that process of of working through and being part of development of the playbook? I think one of the most important things from the playbook that I've taken away, and I guess this was probably even before the playbook was was really in existence, but one of the most important things I think for video creators on YouTube to do is to use the audience. I think that's something that no other medium lets you do. You know, in films you can't connect directly with your audience in real time. You know, in radio you mm, kind of can, but it's not the same. Right. Um, but on YouTube you can ask the audience questions. You can ask them what you know they want to see, what they'd like you to do, what their opinion is you can tell them what to do too, like like this video, subscribe to this video, whatever. Like You can really make the audience part of your creative process. And I think that's something that's really wonderful because it helps you as a filmmaker grow. You're understanding exactly what people want. And it helps the audience the because it lets them see exactly what they want to see. So the, in, the interactivity They're makes it something that's very unique. Absolutely. What elements besides actually having the the channel itself do you use to get the word out? Uh, blogs, Facebook, Twitter, do you use platforms beyond that? Yeah, we use Twitter and Facebook. Um, we're really, I think, our most popular thing outside of YouTube is our Tumblr blog. Okay. We have a lot of followers there, and just the format of Tumblr where you, know, you can post a picture, fairly large format, um, and it gets around pretty easily. We have like a really supportive following there. Um, and that's a lot of fun because it's also a place where like the audience can kind of interact back with us. You know, we can ask questions, and they can answer, they can submit stuff to us. So it's really fun. Just and it's a lot of the audience overlaps across these sites, and then a lot of it doesn't. So it's really interesting to see what people want to find and where they find it. So would you consider beyond, of course, obviously, Twitter and Facebook, Tumblr is an absolute necessity for? Yeah, I think it is. I think because you can do so much with the medium, and there are so many different categories you can reach out to there. Um, and just because it is such a kind of friendly atmosphere. Right. You know, and things don't get lost in the shuffle as much as they do on Twitter. Sure, I would imagine. Yeah.